After about four years, there is a facelift available for the Jaguar XE. The car looks quite similar to the predecessor, but there is a completely new interior, new engines and new modern technology. What that means in detail and more important, how it drives. Let's find out now. The XC now got a completely new front and so the whole car looks flatter and even wider than its predecessor. And one reason for that is the now flatter and wider new grille at the front and I think more important are these new headlamps. They are even thinner than with the predecessor and very important, they come as standard with LED technology. On top of this, to give the car a bit more dynamic, we do find bigger air intakes in the car and very important, our car here, the P300 with the R Dynamics package on board should look even more sporty. So we do find more black here and there and we do have extra um, flaps at the side of the air intakes to underline the sporty look of the car. As standard, the XE comes with 18-inch alloys, but because we drive the top version, we do have 20-inch on board. When you look at the whole shape of the car, I think it looks a bit like the hood is a bit longer and the tail is a bit shorter, and that makes the glass house look like it's a bit more to the rear of the car and this is the typical jack look we want. And because we drive the top version, we do have these extra fin here at the side, which presses the car a bit lower to the ground and gives the car the extra dynamic look. As with the front, you do find a completely new bumper at the rear as well. And very important with our car, we do have the 300 horsepower version. We do have two single exhausts here. Uh, if you do drive a smaller engine, you may find just one on one side or two on one side. And as with the front, we do find LED lighting as standard, even with the taillights. And to give our car the extra sporty look, we do find this short spoiler here, which gives the car the extra dynamic kick. The interior of the XE really has been modernized. So you can have, as our car does, the optional 12.3 inch full digital cockpit and all XE models now featuring a 10.1 inch screen as a touch screen here at the center console. This is for the sat nav and the infotainment. And beneath that one, you find the um, control for instance for the climate control. And that is now partly with a touch screen as well. You still have your jock dials, which I really do like because that really makes life a lot easier. But even that part here is completely new. The materials as well as the craftsmanship of our XE is very, very nice. You can hardly find any plastic anywhere. So you will find leather, you will find softest materials, and that really is very nice. And on top you have these white stitchings here in the car that really lifts the look of the interior to a different level. The only place where you do find some plastic are these fr frames here. They look like chrome, but they are not. This is just plastic, but it looks absolutely nice. And because of its plastic, it's not as heavy as metal. An absolute eye-catcher is the new steering wheel. I really love the look of that. And on top, it features all the buttons and knobs you need to control your car. So you can adjust your um, adaptive cruise control with them. You can use your phone from here. And you can also, of course, control your infotainment. And on top of this, you will find these two very nice and very big paddles here to do gear shifting. And that absolutely is working perfectly. There are three different engines available for the new Jaguar XE. First, that is the 180 horsepower diesel engine. That car you can order either rear wheel powered or with all wheel drive. And then there is a 250 horsepower petrol engine available, only rear wheel powered. And there is our car, which is the 300 horsepower petrol engine that offers a maximum torque of 400 newton meters. And that comes always with all wheel drive. Very important, all the new Jaguar XE models comes as standard with the eight speed automatic gearbox from ZF. The 2-litre four-cylinder petrol engine of our test car delivers 300 horsepower or 221 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 400 newton meters. And this is combined as standard with the eight-speed automatic gearbox. And on top, with this top version, you will get all-wheel drive as well. And that together really gives the car the kick. So you can really drive that car very sporty. And it's an absolute pleasure. And it doesn't matter if you want to cruise or if you want to race. With the new XE, Jaguar wants to convince customers of other premium manufacturers. And so the Mercedes C-Class and the BMW 3 Series are clearly the competitors in the segment. And the premium idea of the XE is also reflected in the pricing. 
So a Jaguar XES with the 180 horsepower 2 litre diesel engine costs from 43,690 euros onwards in Germany. The Mercedes C220D with its 194 horsepower diesel engine starts at 42,667 euros. And 190 horsepower BMW 320D is available from 40,450 euros here. But you need to take into account that the Jaguar comes with an 8-speed automatic transmission and the Mercedes features a 9-speed automatic. While the base model of the BMW comes with a manual 6-speed gearbox as standard. The suspension of the Axe is quite stiff and this even if you drive the car in comfort mode. But it's still very comfortable even though you may drive on, not, let's say, not the perfect road you can find. And this is the same with the steering. The steering is absolutely fine and precise enough to drive the car the way you want. And if you want to have a bit more, then you can easily change into the dynamic mode and then the car really changes its character. It's getting stiffer, crisper, like with the steering it's more heavy, the suspension is even more hard and the, the, um, the amount of power you instantly feel is different. And if you think this is still not enough, then you can simply choose the gear you want with the pedals here at the steering wheel up front of the next band and then you can have great fun with this car. Another really new thing with the X is the gear shift knob because maybe you remember in the past there was just a kind of a jock dial which just comes up when you started the engine and some people complained because that took too long and now you do find the gear shift uh, knob here which is from the F-Type and that really looks absolutely well. And important is around that one to give the car a bit more of a sporty look you find a surface that looks like carbon fiber and you will find the same here in the door panels and I think together with our black interior that really looks absolutely nice and gives the car a bit of a sporty look without doing too much. Like for the Range Rover Evoque, the camera-based rear-view mirror is now also available for the Jaguar XE. The system called ClearSight SmartView projects the image recorded by a rooftop wide-angle camera onto a monitor in the rear-view mirror. So it not only offers a clear view to the rear, but also a significantly extended view field behind the car. The seats of the XE, they really do not only offer more than enough comfort, they also offer, and I think that's important with a sporty um, sedan, more than enough support. So you can really do even longer trips in that car while driving a bit more dynamic without getting any back pains. The space the car offers for the driver and co-driver is absolutely more than sufficient, even for a tall person like me. I'm nearly two meters tall. and. The good thing is you can adjust the steering wheel the way you want. You can pull it quite close to the driver and then combined with this sitting deep inside the car, typical Jaguar, that really gives you the feeling of having the car under perfect control all the time. Of course, behind me it is a bit tight, but if a normal person will sit at the front seats, you can easily sit and comfortably sit on the rear seats, I'm quite sure. And regarding to the headroom, as you can see, it is enough, it's not spacious, but it's more than enough, but I'm quite a tall person. The Jaguar XE with its up to 443 liters of luggage space offers enough room for a sedan in its class. Nevertheless, both the Mercedes C-Class sedan with its 455 liters and the BMW 3 Series sedan with 480 liters are offering a little bit more. As standard, the XE comes with an emergency brake system, with a rear view camera, with a standard um, speed limiter and um, speed control and it also comes with a lane assist as well. And of course you can um, order a whole variety of different driver assistant safety and comfort features and one is the adaptive cruise control and this is something I have to say I don't like so much with the car because it is not as sensitive or sensible than with some other premium manufacturers. So what I mean is for instance if you're on a motorway and you want to overtake and your um, speed is set to a higher amount the car will not instantly when you start to a changing lane accelerate. It will take 
simply too long. And I think this is something that could be a bit better, but maybe that's only complaining on very high levels. That was my test drive in the new Jaguar XE and I have to say I really do like the interior of the car a lot because that's now really modern and fresh but still a real Jag. And then have a look at the exterior. This is something unique and special and pops out of the mass of cars out of this segment. So I think this could be really a good alternative choice if you're looking for a car of this segment and especially the version I drove because that's great fun on the road as well.